All right, hey guys. Um, today's walkthrough or tutorial is um, is about a new VST that came uh, came out recently. It was at the end of last year, end of 2016. Um, called MIDI Choir. It's uh, it's it's by MV's plugins. Um, the chap's name is uh, let me just go to the top of the manual. Yes, yeah, his name is Martin Visenek, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, all right, so basically what it is, it's a retuner. Live, it retunes your vocals or any other instrument for that matter live. Um, so you can play in your keys while you're singing or whatever the case is, or if you have a vocal recording set up and then you just want to play, you can play your keys to it and completely retune it, which is really, really cool for live um, situations. Also, this plugin is free. So it's for the kind of, excuse me, for the kind of um, features you get or for getting a plugin like this free, it's just great. It's um, and it's also not supposed to be like an auto tune or a melodyne or anything like that. It's supposed to be simply for playing out things live and in a fun and creative way. And again, free, which is great. Um, it does come with a few extra features. Like it's got um, a gate, a noise gate on it. It's got reverb. It's got a, a tuning section and a limiter. The tuning is in case you want to do some drastic tuning, like dropping an octave or even fine tuning. But at the same time, uh, yeah, this is probably the most handy part of it, really. And the noise gate, because um, what you you don't want any noise because what will happen is it'll pick up that noise and then retune those noises, which you know obviously you really you know that's going to sound terrible. Um, okay, that's just a look at the plugin, but then I think an important part about this plugin is understanding its 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 routing. If you're going to be using it in a studio situation like I am, which is uh you know in my door, the the plugin comes with a standalone version and the VST version and um, the standalone, you just double click, it opens and you can start going. You can play keys and you can sing or whatever you want to do and it'll just start retuning. Um, the DAW version, the VST, um, you just have to do a bit of routing. Now, he does go through routing in the manual. Um, let me just show you that quick. He has his routing section, but he he's, he's doing it in Reaper. And also he doesn't really give a very step-by-step -step type approach to the explanation I'm not knocking it at all because it, it helped me obviously figure it out completely. So I'm just saying, but I think maybe for some beginners you might look at this, and because it's set in it's in it's in Reaper, you might if you're using something else like I'm using Ableton, you might struggle to set up the routing. So I'm going to quickly show you that. But not only am I going to show you the routing, I'm actually going to save this template, uh, this live set out as a template, and you know you can just download that from a file host that I'll put in the description of this video. Um, which will make it easy if you're on Ableton. Um, but to go through the routing quickly, what you have to do is you set up three tracks. Okay, the first one is a MIDI track, the second an audio, and the third is also an audio. Um, the the first is your MIDI, MIDI carrier track, so that's where you'd put your MIDI notes on or play your MIDI notes into if you were doing it in a live situation. Um, the second track is a, a voice or mod uh, track, um, which is an audio track. And it's basically where the voice comes in. And uh, the third track is your MIDI choir track where you just pop your, your VST onto and you set it, to, well, I'll get to the settings now, but you set it to input. Um, and uh, basically what happens, okay, your carrier, so your MIDI notes are sent to MIDI choir and, and so is your voice. It's both sent to MIDI choir and MIDI choir does the mixing inside and, and the pro, excuse me, and the programming and it comes out retuned. Okay, so to go through it, um, you go to your carrier and you set that your output of your carrier track to MIDI choir which is your, your MIDI choir track obviously you set the output there and if you want to look at it here yeah, in the mixer you, there we go you set it to MIDI choir as opposed to master which it would usually be on same thing here for the the voice um, you just set the output to MIDI choir and again you can come take a look instead of master it's set to MIDI choir okay fantastic now, the MIDI choir needs to be set to in, um, and uh, it obviously just goes out to the master. It's the one that's sending both of them out to the master. Um, but it needs to be set to in, uh, your voice needs to be set off, and your carrier auto. Now, this is obviously all in Ableton, guys, um, but for you guys, you can obviously figure out quite easily um, what your situation is and whatnot. Um, you guys in Ableton can just copy my settings how they are if you just look at them here and there. And uh, you can also download that template that I'm going to make for you. Um, all right. Well, first of all, what I want to do is just send this voice to master just to show you what the original 
sounded like um, before it's retuned. This is a random vocal. This is a random vocal. This is a random vocal. This is a random vocal to test with MIDI choir. Okay, so that's the original, just some stupid recording I did just now. Um, but it's uh, just ignore little pops and things that, that are in there because I'm, I, I have a lot of noise going. I've got construction going on next door to me. And so I've got a gate on there, and every time I go to low, it, it pops and things like that. I didn't really produce it or anything like that because, you know, it's just for an example. So just ignore that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is set that back to MIDI Choir because I was just trying to show you the original. And now if you want to, you we can go through the sound of it. This is a vocal. This is a vocal. This is a vocal. This is a rap vocal to test with the choir. All right. Um, okay, so there's there's an example of how it sounds, but just bear in mind that I'm really messing. If you look at the... I'm really messing with my voice a lot. I'm a quite a deep sort of baritone type voice. And I've, you know, I've pushed these right up to like A4 and things like that. And my voice was obviously a lot lower in the recording. So I'm really pushing it too far. You wouldn't usually push it this far unless it was for the effect. I'm just trying to show you that it can, how it goes, jumps between lows and highs and basically retunes because that's obviously cool for a demo. Um, so, yeah, so that's how it sounds. Um, you can obviously play around with uh, with the other features, um, the noise gate, uh, the limiter and the reverb if you like. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to show you the basic way you can have fun with this. Um, because really it's it, that's what it's for it's just for the retuning you could always process your stuff however you like um i can see this being really fun for for djs and things using the standalone version live and things like that and also even in the studio i can have a lot of fun with this chopping up vocals and uh you know doing different things like that um so yeah you can i'm, I'm definitely going to put the the link to the download of the vst in uh, the description as well as this live template set so you can just download that and use it without any routing problems and uh, yeah thanks um, please subscribe I'm trying to reach uh, 100 subscribes at some point so I can uh, get my uh, YouTube URL set to my name because uh, at the moment it's really just a bunch of numbers so if you if you do like my videos at all do me a favor and do subscribe I just want to reach that hundred <laughs> Thanks, guys, and uh, I'll check you out soon.